and we're live on YouTube. <clears throat> All right, so uh, this week has been rather choppy. The final hour or so yesterday actually was pretty exciting. So a little bit of excitement there to close out the day. I had 334% on some calls. And then I shorted NASDAQ on the move right at the bell because uh, of what we talked about there five minutes prior to closing. So it turned out to be a pretty dang good day. Today, I'm going to kind of take the same approach. Just kind of sit on my hands and chill and see what the market kind of hands us. Because like I said, I would not exp I would not be surprised to see some selling today. But um, I'm not gonna necessarily going to play it. I just got to see the signs. The big precipitous sell-off this pre-market was a little weird. And it could change things up. So we'll see. What's up, YouTube? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Nope, wasn't me, David. Wasn't me. I don't send people DMs. I don't send people DMs. Large green here on NASDAQ to start the day off. 18116. Coming up to 5110. Climbing. We can't be friends anymore. <laughs> hey, I said calls earlier this week, and you said I, you didn't know me. So I don't know which one now. I don't know which one. Apple was removed from the conviction list, apparently, from uh, what Goldman Sachs. So apparently there are people not doing well on Apple. Coming back off here. And we'll see how they want to do things here. We've got a little bit of top wicking going after a pretty interesting green candle <clears throat> so far. Uh, up and down, up and down. It looks like a wave of just up and down, up and down. And now going green. 18117 so far. Like I said, we'd have data coming out in 15 minutes or now 14 minutes. Top of the hour. So far, e NASDAQ is putting on a large green and holding. Retesting the trend line that we had this morning. Dogecoin to the moon, full port. Nice. <laughs> Dogecoin. <coughs> NASDAQ, very aggressive buy up here. 40, 50 points already and no stopping it. Climbing hard to open up the months. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can't believe people still make money on that. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. All right. NASDAQ so far is rocket ship of a candle. And VIX is gapping 1325. TLT is 9342. And that just took care of the imbalance. <clears throat> that one candle took care of the imbalance there at uh, 510 in the morning. The whole market's a gamble. It is. Yeah. And it's becoming more and more of a gamble. As crazier as things get. Microsoft Green Candle, Amazon, Top Wicking, and I'm sure NVIDIA has rocket ships too. Yep, of course it is. Uh, Google is Top Wicking, Meta is Top Wicking after a big rocket ship. Tesla's dumping. AVGO is climbing hard. NASDAQ is still going up with no stopping in sight. Beautiful. Beautiful. <coughs> Let's see where this thing's going to go. 5109 here, top week on a yes. Um, yeah, so I, I, it looks like in one candle we're going to attack yesterday's highs. We're going to come up to 18.162 into data. 140, Apple still going. TLT is down to 93.41. Very hard to trade this week. Yeah, for the most part, this week's been garbage. For the most part, this week's been garbage. <clears throat> Just hit my buy button and went long on 10 NASDAQ. Man, that's crazy. Well done, dude. You freaking kill it. Well done. I was looking through your trades last night. You had to have made at least like 20 grand last night. Well done. Top wick, 18136. Still hanging out. We've got a pivot at about 147. VIX is coming down 1328. Let's see. Let's take a look at the calendar today to kind of figure out what's going on uh, Friday. We have 945 S&P Manufacturing.
we have 10 o'clock construction spending, ISM, and um, PMI. Michigan Consumer and Fed Waller starts spe speaking at 10.15. So that's one of many <coughs> Fed speeches this weekend, of course, today. 10.30 of FOMC Bostic. We have the GDP at 1 o'clock. And that should call Nope, one more. FOMC at uh, 13.30. So a whole bunch of Fed speeches this week. A whole bunch. Jabroni. What is that? It's a thing already? The Jabroni coin? Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> All right. A little bit of red after a top wick. Apple's still going. Amazon is coming down. Dow is coming down just a hair, and the Russell is coming down as well. I read The Rock is trying to trademark Jabroni or something. Hey, let him come get me. Let him come get me. I'll never stop using it. Bookmap has a whole bunch of activity today. There's there is liquidity all over the place. 5110, 5125 to the upside. Nothing else above 5125. To the downside, we have 5085, 62, uh, 44, which was on there yesterday, and this little cat is spoofing 5010. So yesterday they had 51.20 up, which we are, looks like, bumping up against it pretty shortly with 51.10 on there. So keep an eye on that. That's The 51.20 liquidity was one of the reasons I put on the 5100 call yesterday. That worked out pretty well. But in addition to the 51.20, they had 51.15 putting on as well, plus the volume, plus the market on balance. I mean, everything it was like 4 billion market on balance. With 10 minutes to go, not to mention the the huge buying volume coming into the chart on the five minute. I mean, the market was rallying big time yesterday, so uh, we'll see. Now they're putting that all that liquidity right back on in the same area. <clears throat> A little bit of red, very slow. Dwayne Johnson now owns IP rights to Jabroni. Yeah. Eighteen one two five. What's up, Investing Muscle? How you doing? Today's the first day of hard seventy five for me, or seventy five hard. So far, so good. I'm holding strong, holding strong. Eighteen one one three. Red candles. Fifty one oh six. Reversing that. Coming down. Nice large red candle so far. If that engulfs the first one, um, I'd expect 18.070. We'll see. That's a very, very large move so far. A lot of shaking and baking here on NASDAQ up and down, red and green. And they're bottom wicking it right there. Bottom wicking it right there. Just close on a contract that will let me work fully remote. I'll join Tier 2 soon. Nice, Kennedy. That's a great feeling, buddy. Working remote is pretty awesome. Well done. Careful, NVIDIA, huge top wick. Yeah, so right now, obviously, NVIDIA runs the market. A great, great key to uh, market awareness would be to look at NVIDIA, and they are dumping hard right now. In fact, I need to take my own advice. I am going to remove Amazon and place NVIDIA. I don't know why I haven't done that before. That's a bad move on my part. Large bottom wick on NASDAQ, buying it all the way back up. Boom. Let's see what this thing's going to do. Eighteen one two eight. Just tapped, um, yes, just tapped that VWAP right there, which is the green line and climbing. And NASDAQ looks like it's going to flip around you, this baby, and put in a high. They're going to try to at least. 18131. Shaking and a bacon. Uh, 
Let's see if they can close the hammer. It's like playing from the hip here. Wyatt Earp all over the place. Wyatt Earp. Apple's coming off. NVIDIA's going back up. Green candles. NASDAQ is trying to close this five-minute hammer, which closes in about 30, 20 seconds. And if they close it, we'll look to a go ahead and attack and wipe out the highs. But then again, we have data in five minutes, so they better do it quickly. Tap that VWAP. There you go. Tap. Tap the VWAP. Uh, let's have an awesome day, Damien. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. Eighteen one two eight and holding. Let's see one two five one two six. CVD is hanging out after dropping, uh, spiked up to about twelve hundred, trickled off and now holding, right here at about six fifty. Looking at ES, there looks like they still want to attack fifty one twenty five and fifty one fifteen, and that's what I'll be looking for. What's up, Hammy? How you doing? A lot of data today. Yeah, data in five minutes. There's a closure. We just started the new five-minute candle. We are one minute in. They are trying to make a move higher, but so far, uh, no such luck. Large reds here. And we're rejecting this candle. Top wicks across the board. NVIDIA top wicking. Apple's top wicking. Dow dumped. Russell's really dumping. Let's see what they could do with this thing. <clears throat> 18117. All right. So they just retested that trend line and rejected it on down. CVD is still chilling. Do you still see 4,800 possible for March? I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Especially, especially since Bank of America came out and says they see SPX going to 5,400 because they see a cup and handle. And anytime I see that crap, I want to short everything. You see anyone reference a cup and handle, you go the opposite way. 8117, 18117. Alrighty then. Well, wiki all over the place here. <clears throat> That's a double bottom. Trying to do it. Eighteen one two eight and going one three. This would should put a new high in after this thing closes. We'll see. It really needs Nvidia. One three one. This is a double bottom wick here on NASDAQ. Let's see if they can actually do something with it. So far, no. The answer is no. Going up. Now we're doing it. All right, cool. Now we're moving. One, four, two. Uh, prior pivot, there's one, four, four. And the overnight pivot before the big dump was 146 on NASDAQ. Looking at ES, we've got 5112 and up to 5116. NASDAQ is substantially more bullish than ES right now. Substantially more. But great, great 30 minutes. This thing's whipsing all over the place. It's a great, great 30 minutes to chill, especially we have data in a minute and 10 seconds. So, so be aware that we have data again at the top of the hour. What's up, Juice Box? How you doing? <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what they're doing, Kev. They're setting up their exit liquidity. NASDAQ going 138, 140. Still top wigging on Apple. Russell dumped. Dow's dumping. On the 15 minute, we've got just a big old green with a top wick beginning to form. 
But yeah. How's y'all's night? How was y'all's night? Eighteen one thirty. ES just hammered off the POC. NASDAQ is hanging out 133. VIX is still trickling down 1326. Trying to follow the momentum from yesterday, baby. Follow the momentum from yesterday. New five minute candle. There's the data. <clears throat> Red candles. Not moving. Eighteen one two six, Nvidia is back and forth, and we're just holding right here. You see the liquidity strip off. Nothing's came back on just yet, but they still still holding fifty one fifteen. Microsoft's got a red. Daytona Bike Week in full effect. Lots of great God fearing people to talk with. Nice tool, man. Very cool. I went down to Daytona once uh, years ago during Bike Week without knowing it was Bike Week. It was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. It was very loud. Red candles, 18122. And another bottom wick on NASDAQ. That's three bottom wicks in a row on the five minute. Looks like they're accumulating to launch. If they close this five minute here, obviously we have data. So keep an eye on it. 18124. Secret to trading, really simple. Nobody knows if one trick rule the cup and handle. Yeah. Oh, man. Isn't data at uh, 1045? Yeah, we have data at 1045, which just passed. And again, at, uh, well, you're talking about, oh, you're talking about 1045 Eastern. I'll have to look. I was talking about 945. Uh, we had data at 945 data again to the top of the hour which was ism uh, i'll look i'll look to see if there's anything at 10:45 no nothing at 10:45 18.127 so looking at the nasdaq here they've got a little bit of liquidity shelf at 150 but that is it es Still has this 15115 and 5125, but um, a lot of stuff lower. A whole bunch of liquidity lower here. NASDAQ with another attempt of the red candle. Apple's got an egregious amount of top wicks. Microsoft is coming off. But overarching, um, still the same theme here, baby. Still the same here, same theme here. It is just waiting. Here's another attempt. This is where we bounced last time, which is the retest of the 810 level on NASDAQ. So yet another red engulfing candle, and they're going to attempt to recapture this pivot yet again. What can they do? Apple is rolling over pretty aggressively. Pretty aggressively. Let's see what we can do. Hey, they break it. Moy inter asante. Large grid we got from 18144. That's about a 40, 50 point. Man, these candles are, are spicy today, aren't they? <clears throat> They're spicy. 5103, another bottom wick. Apple is all the way back up as well. Let's lotto data. You short out long? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Greeting from Australia. What's up, Weiss Hate Game? Ah, I'm glad you like it, buddy. I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate the uh, the support of the channel all the way from Australia. What's the weather like out there right now? If this bottom looks again, we're probably going to take out the highs. Yep, I am of the same opinion. If they hammer this baby again, I would look out to take out the highs. Muy, most likely. 18117. And they're trying to. They are trying to. 
NVIDIA just hammered the crap out of that candle, too. Um, Apple's coming down a touch, but uh, yeah, NVIDIA, another hammer. 18114. Going for 150. Egregious amount of wicks on the five minute. It's crazy. All over the place. Just made 20 points in two seconds. Yeah, this has been the week to play the reverse on every move. Yeah, yeah, which is why this week has been a scalper's paradise. Every single move has been nearly instantly reversed. The only really sustained move we've had was yesterday afternoon when we bounced, and Trader J called that one, uh, and we trended up. So um, that's been the only real move. You can just held it. And even then, you could have been late to the move and still held it, which was which was great. So it was nice to change it up a little bit. Hopefully we get a good sustained trend today, but so far it's just whips on all over the place. It's whipping its hair back and forth. 18118. Red candles. Hot and steamy. Love it. Still waiting on a trade just like you just finished the world for sale. Money, power, and the traders who barter the Earth's resources. You should check it out. I like it. I'll make a note. <clears throat> Another red candle. Another red candle. All right, I'm going to pull up my trade of aid here. Open up some NQ and see if I can get a good sustained move here. No trades for me yet. It is all over the place. So, yeah, um, the NASDAQ right now has three, now looking like a fourth, five-minute bottom wick in a row. <clears throat> now it's not moving, but if they continue to do that, now the 15 minute candle, we have a nice sustained bottom wick that's about to close. But if they need the closure of this candle at the top of the hour, we'll look to go. Now you have to, unfortunately you will have to survive data, but now this is four bottom wicks in the row in the five minute. It's awful. The first 30 minutes is just all over the place. All over the place. Um, take a look at the POCs. What do we got? We keep trudging right into supply, right into supply, which is also yesterday's main POC. The POC from yesterday is 51.10. So if I were you, I would draw a line at 51.10 and watch how the price action changes at 51.10 front on ES. For NASDAQ, give me a second, I would look at 18.130 and I would draw a line there and watch how the price action goes. Apple's getting destroyed. Just trade YM? Yeah. After this week, I've heavily considered going a full week and trading nothing but YM and Russell. Make it part of my 75 hard rules. It's weeks like this that I hate trading the NASDAQ and the YES. Still another bottom week. Only trade NKD? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. NVIDIA is up 802. What was my pre-75? I had double Big Mac, baby. I had a double Big Mac. It was either between that or sushi. Uh, I still make sushi bowls on my diet, which means it's obviously not, you can't have all the crap that a lot of sushi has, but I get, uh, I go to Fresh Market and I buy sushi, uh, tuna, tuna sushi, sushi tuni. Uh, Whatever. Raw tuna. And I chop it up and I put it on a bit of rice and I eat that, which which kind of scratches the sushi itch. So I was like, alright, well, I just I can kind of have that so I'll go ahead and have something I absolutely cannot have. So I just had a big double Big Mac. It was delicious. And I removed the inner piece of bread so it was just like a four patties. It was good. What did I think of it? It was good. You know, just a Big Mac with two more uh, two more pieces of meat. It was good. I don't have that stuff very often so it was of course, I felt like crap after. All right, another bottom wick here, 18.125. Still going. Data in five minutes. 18.128. 
once again, retesting. Keep a line. Like I said, draw a line at 18130. And then draw another line on a yes. I'll confirm. At 5105, maybe, uh, 50, yeah, 5105 is fine, 5105, and watch them. It's crazy how unappealing gen food gets when you eat consistently clean for years. Tell me about it, yeah. Another top wick. Man, this thing is just whips on all over the place. Oh, the wickles? Yeah, I love wickles, man. I can put wickles on anything. Wickles and eggs? Good stuff. 18114, another red waterfall here on NASDAQ. This thing is all over the place. We're going to have a big move today. This is far too aggressive of price action. The IV's jacked. The price action is whips on all over the freaking place. We're going to have a move today. We're going to have a move today. Apple's getting smoked. NVIDIA's starting to climb, but that's all she wrote. And another bottom wave. Yeah. Nice juice box. Looking at the daily, would you say Apple is in a, in, it's an interesting low pivot? It is, yeah. It definitely is. It's back to that uh, 180 pivot. God, five bottom mix in a row on NASDAQ here. Looking at, a, looking at farms and negotiating is insane out here. Have you seen my DM? I haven't. Let me take a look. Holy crap, y'all sent me a lot of DMs. Let's see. I don't see a DM from you. Did you did you did you DM an imposter? Yeah, I don't see a DM from you. Hit me hit me up again. Eighteen one two one on Nasdaq. Es is bottom wicking fifty one oh one. Apple still getting smoked, dropping and dropping. Does the big selling yesterday at ten ten mean something? Let's see. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a very high volume dump on NASDAQ. And then, you know, we based from there. Unfortunately, it happened in one candle. So if you weren't in it, you most likely weren't going to chase that. 18.122. Another bottom wake. Six. Why did you replace Amazon by NVIDIA? Um, NVIDIA is a bigger player now, and I want to be aware of NVIDIA. I didn't want to take Microsoft off because they're a big player. There are three big players right now uh, on terms of in the market here. It's going to be Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. Amazon obviously is too, but I want to be tracking those three big players right now, especially with, Am with Apple starting to sell off like this. I want to uh, keep an eye on Apple. Yeah, YM is still straight down here, 38,909. Part of me is looking for the selling climax. The other me is looking for a fully anticipating NASDAQ to be at 19,000 in a month. Yeah, the dichotomy, the dichotomy of a trader, right? I'm pretty much in the same boat as you. <laughs> All right, I got that one, Kennedy. I got that one. XLF is coming off. TLT is down to 93 again. Back and forth, back and forth. I feel like TLT has been there for like a month. Pretty much it has. Two months. It's been here. Oh, man. It's Friday all day. That's right. Green candles. Fifty-one oh six. Also, long CL. Nice trader day. I usually like range days, but I think I keep this as uh, going to break out. Well, r there's range days, and then there's this. This thing is whip song all over the place. It's top wicked and bottom wicked every candle. So just gotta be patient. There's plenty of trading day. We're only 29 minutes on the market. There's plenty of trading day out there. 
We just got to chillax. And we'll see. Data in 20 seconds. Liquidity is cleared. And we'll see what happens. Large green candles. 18.130. There's the line I told you to draw. 18.130. Right up against it. Apple's coming down 179. NVIDIA's going up. Large, large green flows. Rocket ships. Rocket ships. Good gosh. <laughs> I think that did it. I think that did it. Now top wicking. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Now top wicking it all the way back down. Instantly. Apple's top wicking. NVIDIA is red. And NVIDIA and NASDAQ just gave back a 30, 40 point top wick. Good gosh. Good gosh. Look at that guy. He just chased that liquidity. Look at that. Whew. Trailing. Critical error on bookmap. What just Phil? That was a 286 ice up to 5125. Took five trades to exit. Is this what a selling climax looks like? Not yet. Now, right now, the buyers are still very much in control. There's no selling just yet. You passed two evails on that. Nice. Well done. Well done. Apple's 179.42. Absolutely hammered that thing, dude. Let's see what they do with it now. All I did on the eval, the bracket order would take profit. Nice. Man, the sellers keep top wicking this thing and hitting it. The buyers don't move this up. It's going to reverse it. We're going to pull the Missy Elliott, put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Flare and I flip it right yet, and there it is. There it is. Got to love the opposite. Yeah. Price action strictly MNQs, one to three contracts. Nice. All right, well, we just wiped the prior high by about tw uh, 10 points and top wick back down. ES did the same thing right off of ba -dum -ba -dum, the next macro level. Good gosh. Sometimes I surprise myself. Boom. 5108. I think they're about to flip this thing. That's a huge top wick. SPY just ran a new brand new all-time high then immediately died. Yeah. Let me go over SPY, by the way. 510 was the next target. What is she putting down? Oh, my gosh. I forgot about old Missy Elliott. Doesn't she look completely different nowadays? What do you think about trading, creating a live trading Discord? I've already got my hands full, dude. I can't handle two two Discords. I got my one Discord. I'm already uh, task saturated. Still top wicking, 5108. What's up, Casey? I'm doing pretty good, buddy. How are you? I've had a fantastic week, fantastic month. Actually, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Apple is still going to lows. 15 minute. Golly, what are we doing, man? This thing is all over the place. Another red flow. Look at that. Another red flow. I 
I'm, I'm scared to play this stuff because this stuff is just whipsawing all over the place. I gotta take an entry and this thing is gonna whipsaw on me. Quick 75 on a SPY pop. Nice molecule. Going to Lowe's. What's up, Mr. 50? Maybe the market will go to Lowe's when you go to Lowe's. <laughs> Apple new low of the day. Speaking of Lowe's. Green candles. Let's see what they do with this thing. One, three, two. Dow's dropping. NVIDIA. Apple. Big red candle on Apple. It's weird seeing Apple with this much pressure and it's not moving the markets. It's odd. It's odd. I feel like they're going to put NVIDIA in the top slot here soon. Eighteen one three eight. ES is fifty one oh six, and there's the big green candle to buy it back up. Eighteen one four four. Just filled a three thousand iceberg buy iceberg on ES. Three thousand. Fifty one oh eight. Good gosh. One four four. Huge red candle on Apple. I was going to short if the next candle would close red, but it immediately went green. Yeah, I'm telling you, this thing is, it's all over the place. All over the place. 5107. 18148. They're putting on liquidity down to 5094. NASDAQ is putting on another top wick here. And watch them flip this candle too, and they are flipping this candle. Good gosh. One four two. Welcome to the casino. Yeah. Eighteen one fifty. The fifteen minute at, on SPX. Yeah, it's back and forth, dude. It's back and forth. Eighteen one four nine. <clears throat> You killing on your hundred thousand account? Oh my gosh. Scal I I hate scalping though. I hate it. I think it's incredibly low probability and dangerous. Which is why this entire week I've been pretty much hands off, with the exception of some trades when I see a setup. Look forward to the write up after a doozy of a week. Yeah, we'll see. You and me you and me both. You and me both. Volatility challenge. What is that? Oh, okay. Still going, green candles. One six two. Large green flow here on NASDAQ, buying back up. Now ES just filled three thousand buy ice. Coming up to fifty one twenty five. Extraordinary price action. And going. Still going. Very dangerous. Talk about opposite, but rally, it's tiny position size. One move and it's over. That's right. That's right. Green candles. Fifty one oh two. Nasdaq is still going up. ES is coming down a touch. A little bit of a top wick. VIX just rolled off again, thirteen eighteen, so Eventually, we're going to release here in a couple of seconds. We'll see where. VIX is rolling off hard. NVIDIA new high of the day. And NASDAQ is blasting. 18 to 172. What happened to my music? My music went off. Oh, man. 
5125. There it goes. Blasting so far, 40, 50 points at a time. And can NASDAQ take out the 878? Uh, what is that, 878? Or a 178? going. There he goes. New high and still going. Boom. And still going. Yeah, so there's another SPX is going there too. 18.186. Did absolutely phenomenal rally. Extraordinary rally. 51.25. NASDAQ has got coming up to 200 blow off top here this all makes me uncomfortable <laughs> man it's crazy isn't it it's crazy it's extraordinary extraordinary um 182 oh man all right 18186 still going 184 All right. Let's see what they can do with this candle. 179. Apple's going back up. NVIDIA top wicking. Still no selling. Good stuff. Is it red or green? Oh, right now we got a nice little top wick, uh, but still very much a lot of... Uh, A lot going on. 18177. All right. Well, we have one final move so far uh, that's not wicked. We have one green engulfing candle at the only candle of the day that's not wicked. It's a 1005 candle. And then now we have this candle, this 1011, that is being wicked, but still 18173. And I don't have a lot of good answers for you. I think it's all over the place. But the buyers are definitely still winning here in NASDAQ or NVIDIA or NASDAQ. I guess they're the same thing now. Looks like it's going to try to launch over 807. 178. Green flow is all over. Video still going. 18, 8184. New territory there. Where's SPY? SPY came into the R3 area and then started the top wick, just like NASDAQ did. Now, Apple chart looks terrible. I'm telling you, Apple is, I guess, underperforming is, is a, a soft way to put it. You know, Apple's been getting smoked the entire time that the market's been rallying. Getting smoked. Meta's printing money. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. NASDAQ going up again. 18183. Blasting large green engulfing candles. And absolutely just going. Let's see. 18183. Good gosh. Is Apple getting smoked because of NVIDIA? I think so, yeah. I think they're just they're just rotating out. You know, Apple, I think NVIDIA is starting to slide into the visionary spot that Apple's had a stranglehold on for 20 years now. And I wouldn't be surprised to see NVIDIA take the top slot eventually. It's just phenomenal. Zero, seven, two. Gotta restart my music. Am I really going? What do you mean? Let's see. Ooh, I like that one. There we go. Let's 
There we go. 18185. No top wick so far, so it looks like they've finally picked a move here, at least for the time being. ES is going as well. And going. Got it 419 and 14 DT in there. Nice. Whew, man. If Apple turns up along with the rest of the tech, then it's going to be a feisty, feisty day. Feisty day. Microsoft beat down too, so if Microsoft comes up, it'll be a feisty day. Google's down. Meta is up. Tesla is coming up. AVGO is up. NVIDIA rocket ships. They're up another 2%. Did you guys see NYCB? Did it get crushed again? Wow. 18185. Made it hitting all-time highs. Yeah, all the tech is just rocket ships now. Even tech now is just going. It's phenomenal. It's extraordinary. 181. Here comes 200 on NASDAQ. From 18124. There's that first rejection of 200. Didn't quite officially touch it yet. Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, there's a there's a lot of weakness in the market, but there's a lot of strength too, and the the strength is is stronger than the weakness, obviously. Blasting. But Nasdaq is far superior to ES at the moment. Crazy. Another top wick. Nice top wick. Look at that. A little bit of red there. A little bit of red there. Can they hold it though? Meta is a surprise. AI is doing well. Yeah. Apple's going crazy. NVIDIA. Yeah. NVIDIA just put on a red candle, but they're already bottom wicking it off of their top. TLT is 93 and going. Um, Dow completely recovered. Russell's completely recovered. Interesting. SMCI is up 7. I didn't think NYCB could fall anymore, but they did. Now they got crushed. Man, they recovered a good bit of it, but then they dropped down to 327. AO 186. At YM long? There you go. Nice. Very sus for a morning run. Well, it's just a very erratic morning. I've popped in a small position. There goes another red on NVIDIA, but man, it's it's erratic. When trading all-time high market, do you think it's best to use trend lines when scalping pullbacks? Um, if you can, yeah. If you can identify a multi-touch trend line that's goes back further than a couple of points, then yeah. There's no there's nothing wrong with that. You know, trend lines can work. I wouldn't put, you know, big position size, you know, strength into it, but yeah. Here comes the red. A little bit. Just a very little bit. ES still has fifty one twenty five and they have all this stuff built over. Sell side iceberg just hit. What is that? 218. Nice, Twizzy.
Google new low of the day, Apple new low of the day, Microsoft trying to test lows of the day. Tweezers on the 15. Eighteen one seventy five. Apple is still going. God, that's so weird. It's Nvidia. It's Nvidia. I mean, all the semiconductors are just rocket ships. AVGO is up five percent. Meta is up two percent. Nvidia is up two percent. It's just going. It's phenomenal. Posting on his own platform, X described Gemini's response as extremely alarming, given that tool would be embedded in Google's other products. I don't know what to talk about. Big red on Apple. Now, sell side means go down. Um, if you look at earlier, this was a buy side. If you look over here, like they put down 3,000, almost 3,100 in buy. You see the CVD just rocket. So that, that was a huge buy iceberg, and then obviously it led to um, a little more muted run on ES than NASDAQ, and about 10 points on ES, and NASDAQ went up, what, 80? With us staying close to supply with low volume, wouldn't that indicate that we absorb this level and go higher? So far, yeah. So um, they need to get away from this move if you want to look for that. Not to mention Bookmap is putting on lower liquidity, yes. But their overarching theme is 5120 and 25, which was a level from yesterday. It's a carryover from yesterday. Now, they're not putting on anything else, nothing else. So unless they start stacking more liquidity, I would say this is relative to the, I would say this is pretty close to the high of the day right here. Uh, unless they start building more liquidity to the upside. I just don't see a lot of activity up above 5125 yet. Which is still, I mean, that's still another, you know, 10 points up. So that's still, that's still a pretty good move. Eighteen one seventy two. <laughs> Watch my mouth. 50.95. Um, it is, yeah, it is. 60 and 45. I put a I put a lotto call on yesterday. I think I'm going to try a, a lotto uh, a lotto put today. Once this settles down here into the afternoon, not just yet, not just yet, but into the afternoon. Worked out pretty well. Am I currently in a position? No, I popped a couple of longs on some micros earlier, but right now I'm just. Um, I'm just kind of watching this, man. I'm watching literally the number one biggest stock holdings go liquefied down, and the number three go up. So, and and it's just weird. It's just weird stuff. It's very. Um, it's throwing my market awareness off because it's weird. The only candle we've had today that's held was the 10:05 candle. Everything else has been just reversed and wicked and terrible. So, it's awful. What's up, D Stoic? Welcome back. I rejoined after taking some time off to study a lot of psychology. Looking forward to learning from you and the others. I love it. Welcome back. Good to have you back. Hope you had a nice little break. Red candles. Let's see if Nasdaq's going to try to make a move here. 162. Man, Apple is still coming down. God, top week on SPY. One six eight. Hmm. Keep an eye on Nvidia. Of course, they're not selling off. They're going up. The market is Nvidia. Eighteen one six eight. One Sato seven three eight. Um Dow completely recovered. Russell's on a tear, man. A little rotation. 
A little rotation into Russell. Skyrocketing. I guess Apple is irrelevant these days. Well, they're becoming more irrelevant, I'll say that. More irrelevant. But NASDAQ isn't selling. Yeah, it's not going to. As long as NVIDIA keeps doing what it's doing, and it's not going to. Nothing will. That's the whole market awareness shift I'm seeing right now, which is why I added NVIDIA, because what NVIDIA does, the market's going to do. So that red candle brought us right back to the weekly high, and we just bounced off of it. So that was a retest of the weekly high, and that should bring us to a new high on, on NVIDIA. Or not NVIDIA, on NASDAQ. Same thing. Yeah, RTY is absolutely rocket ships. Absolute rocket ships. Eighteen one seven nine. Big green candle on Nvidia. It's going. This candle's shaky. Shaky. Eighteen one eight three. Golly, this thing's gonna go. <laughs> One of us, yeah. The morning high right there. Or not the morning high, the weekly high. Just passed my 10th 50K account. Nice, Rob. Well done. Well done. That's right there. That that stuff right there is why I leave on the weekly high levels. I plot them in big orange thick levels so they stand out. Because that's a retest of that weekly high. And they just whipsawed it right off of it. Apple is still selling off. garbage. What's ES doing? ES is still kind of just top wicking into uh, major pivots. Another liquidity level in 18.2. Yeah, if Apple turns up, which it did yesterday, remember, then this is going to get silly. It's going to get silly, into the, at least until the afternoon. So keep an eye, because now Russell has rotated, YM has rotated, which usually I'd like to see some selling if that happens. But the only thing selling right now is Apple, and the market don't care. So just keep an eye on Apple. I would keep a close eye on them right now if they rotate upwards. Nobody wants to wear ski goggles everywhere? Hey, I'd love to wear ski goggles everywhere. I love skiing. That's my thing. That's my thing. Yeah, I'd, li I'd listen to a lot of what Mr. 50 says about that stuff, man. Very, very insightful. It's great stuff. For sure, man. You do great things, you get great recognition. We've had one candle on NASDAQ, one candle that, that is other, anything other than garbage. SPY is finally starting to take off here. Look at TLT, look at XLF. Rocket ships. Rocket ships. We got up to 200. Rocket ship on SPY.
little bit of green. Apple still getting destroyed. So NASDAQ's got this 18,188. We'll look for absorption and then attack that 200. Boom, SPY is still going. Look at bonds, look at XLF. I might go ahead. Oh, man, this is weird. There's a lot of cross currents here. There's a lot of really weird cross currents here. I would be I would be careful trading today. I'd be careful trading today. Keep position small. Look at the Russell and look at the bonds right now. SPY's rocket ships. Trappy? Oh yeah. There comes NVIDIA down. Big red candle on NASDAQ. 20-point red candle smoking it. Booyah. Booyah. Watch, it'll, if it, oh, God. Red candles. Let's see if he can close under this weekly level. This is ridiculous. Go. 18156. Apple is still getting destroyed. I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of weird stuff going on right now. Apple's getting smoked now. Bonds are, are squeezing. Squeezing. Love hearing red candles? Yeah. Weird stuff right now. One seventy eight twelve. Mix of thirteen twenty four. NASDAQ still coming off. Big reds. I took off my short call. I was going to wait for a retest higher. Nice. Here's the trend line from this morning retesting now. But that's a large flow. And like I said, the only candle we've gotten that hasn't been reversed is the 10.05 candle. That's the only one. Apple's still getting smoked. What do you think of that move is the bonds about? I don't know. I don't know. I guess just uh, maybe kicking off a little bit of a, a red a red march. I don't know. Yeah, the data wasn't good for sure, but interesting. SPX 18 point our range is tight versus IV, so expect a breakout or breakdown or both. Yeah. One fifty eight. Nvidia's eight oh six. One fifty two holding the P the, the ADMA here is about five hundred seventy five. Uh, we have a large red engulfing so far that's starting to bottom wick, but uh, they're holding it. They're holding it. Nvidia hasn't moved at all. Another red flow. Look at that. Another red flow. Another red flow. 18,150. Oh, man. Um, 
152. So this is that retest of that morning. Perhaps the iceberg was right again. I mean, usually it's, it's rarely wrong. It's rarely long. They're putting on more icebergs here now. Look, CVD is still dropping. They're still hitting this thing with cells. Apple is still rolling over. I'm warning y'all, be careful. Be careful. No, the sell side iceberg. Sell iceberg. Look at the CVD. Dumped it. Fifty-one sixteen. Fifty-one sixteen there. Apple one seventy-eight. Sixty-four retest of the weekly level right here is a we t re oh, no, I said we test <laughs> retest. So we we tested the we tested the weekly the weekly high on one time that we bounced off of it. Finally broke through it on the second attempt, and now we're retesting it from the underside, right here. Now we're retesting it from the underside, the upside down, I guess. One sixty-three. Apple's one seventy-eight. Put my short call back on. 0 0.03 loss. Nice. Jabroni time. Yeah, 163. So watch this right here. This will be an interesting play if this top wicks and fails. 509.93. Still coming off down. The ADMA is a couple of cents down. There's that pressure. See that little pressure flow right there? On down. Keep an eye on NVIDIA. Very odd chart. SPY is dealing with R3 right now, which obviously is a, it's a pretty heavy level. That's why it's labeled as significant, and that's why we're doing this right here. Just sticking to it. So keep an eye on that. 158, dropping over, top wicking still. Nice, hilltop. Instead of seven micros, I went seven minis and almost wrecked a PA I built 56,000 past drawdown. I'm sorry to hear that, Vent. A couple of people have done that today. I've done it myself. Don't sweat it. Remove the liquidity up top. Maybe we just remove that at 185. Another iceberg. I'm telling y'all, they're putting on the icebergs. They're putting on the icebergs here, 512. They're all small, so we're not five-alarm fire here yet, but they are small. I mean, they're on there. So just keep an eye on them. Top wicking on SPY. Apple's still rolling over. Candle closes in uh, about one minute. 51.14. We got 51.10. It's about a four-point move still. Apple still rolling over. Still rolling over. Microsoft is down. Dow is rolling back over. Oh, man. Spicy. 51.10. Let's take a look here. NASDAQ took off that upper liquidity there. A little bit of 
I have to meet. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. But NASDAQ's still bottom wicking. Yep, right now it is. Yep. Top wicking and bottom wicking at the moment. We're just pinned at the moment, actually. Uh, still kind of rejecting the weekly level. Garbage. SPY is rebounding. Fifty one ten one six six. VIX is fifty cents away from the low of the day, nine eleven, two thousand twenty three. Interesting. SPY is rallying back up. Large move. Climbing back up. Apple's putting on a green. I've been trading video almost every day for a year or more now. Oh, where'd that go? Uh, one thing I notice is it usually does the opposite of Apple. If Apple's going down big, they usually shift the money to NVIDIA and vice versa. Also, even though I have been book map, I started out looking at time and sales for trading NVIDIA and to focus on trades and tape, high quality and high deltas. Nice. Yes, yeah, oil straight up too. So oil's rocketing, bonds are rocketing, Apple's getting smoked, and market's still going up pretty hard. It's interesting. It's interesting. 18.168. Honestly, we haven't even moved since 10.05, so, I mean, we're not going anywhere yet except chopping. Yeah, I mean, then I agree, and that's I mean that's how capitulation happens. You know, sellers capitulate, and we and we rock it, and then after they capitulate, is when the finally the market finally goes down. One six nine. Where's Dan at? I think he's the one to say when the price action smooches high a day, it's Rashkies. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well. Looks like I'm going to pretty much do the same thing as yesterday. Same thing as yesterday. Just sitting, waiting. Let this thing chop its head off all over the place. 18.172. XLF is 40. Bonds are going. Maybe trade some CL. What an absolute dumpster fire week of price action. Terrible. Yeah, <laughs> Rasky. 
I love it. Eighteen one seventy, holding the trend line, the trend line all morning long. They just bounced off of it. Man, look at CL, crazy. Nasdaq is about to put another high in. Apple's trying to put it, go back down to another low. And fifty one twenty five is your overarching target on EDS here. Yeah, Nvidia is about to break out high again. Here comes 180. YM broke out again. SPY is going again. 18200 for NASDAQ. And ES has 5125. NVIDIA new high of the day right there. Now Apple's starting to come along here too. Wow. If I hit four to five hundred dollars, pretty much done for the day. Absolutely, definitely. Definitely. Nvidia takes over Apple's market cap within the next year. If it keeps doing what it's doing, it'll be within the next month. With Apple dropping and that Nvidia climbing like this, if it keeps it up for another month, it'll do it within a month. One eighty three. Fifty one twenty five is the overall overall liquidity on ES. Five ten. I got too much open. I'm clicking all over the place. All right, eighteen one seventy eight. Still going. Volume has dropped off here. We're kind of in that midday lull with the volume, which is normal. Yeah, they definitely haven't. They deserve to be knocked off with the product that's been uh, with the crap they've been putting out. Topwick. Oh, you're back in America. Welcome back. Welcome back. Apple back down to low of the day. Back down to low of the day. A little bit of a red. Top week on SPY. Apple getting smoked. And we're back up to the uh, the high of the range here. Let's see what time is it. Let's see. Yes. There and it is there. Okay. So ES right now is rejecting the morning high. NASDAQ is didn't quite get back up to the morning high before another top wick. Uh, NVIDIA is still blasting though, while Apple is still sliding. Maybe I'm naive, but if NVIDIA overtakes Apple, I think that might be a downfall. Apple seems a lot more stable. One wrong move in NVIDIA, and we're in trouble. Well, 
I, and more importantly, I would watch the allocation on the S and P more so than the top than, than than overtaking market cap. Watch who the big dogs put in charge in the number one slot. If they reallocate Nvidia to the top of the S and uh, the SSGA, then uh, that'll be telling. Large top book on NASDAQ, bought back up. Um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA still going, Apple's down. Today's a rebalance day. Check the S&P Global. Ah. 5124 is still the overarching target for ES here. New low of the day for Apple. Nice red. So for me, um, like I said, I'm doing the same thing I did yesterday. I need to see some momentum. I need to see something like that's not completely reversed instantly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna still the play. I'm gonna still the same. Uh, I'm gonna approach the markets the same way I did yesterday, and pretty much the same way I've been doing it all week. Is just tap tap a a couple of micros here and there, and when I see something, I'll take it. Uh, maybe in the afternoon we'll get some good momentum with some volume, but this is just this is this is terrible. It's awful. Yeah, Nvidia is number three right now. A little bit of red. Dow is rocketing. Russell's rocketing. Apple's getting smoked. Bonds are rocketing. What are puts going for right now for lottos? March 1st. Super cheap. I like that. I want them to be cheap. We'll keep an eye on oil. Thanks. Appreciate it. 18175. Check out the Russell. Yeah, the, Ru the Russell's climbing crazy. Dow and Russell are both just rocket ships. Rocket ships. One eight zero. I'm tempted to get a cheap Apple call, but I'm a jabroni. I mean, it's been beaten down, and it's at a key support. So I mean, that's the time to take calls, or at least consider calls. Is at those lows. Once you confirm the price action. Historically, it's worked, but obviously Apple is not doing what they've historically done. Nvidia's about to pop. Yeah. Oh yeah, that tool again. I forgot about that thing. Seventy-one percent long, sixty-seven percent long on S and P. Nvidia is still squeezing. AVGO is up four point seven, and Nvidia is up two point four. The melt up of all melt ups. It's crazy, man. That weekly chart's substantial. The daily is 190. You keep saying Apple. Are you thinking a short spy? No. No. At least not until 51.25. Uh, I'm considering a lotto put into the close. 
But other than that, now all I'm looking is for long setups. This thing, I mean, it's a fool to short this market with NVIDIA going straight up. So keep playing it. I will say it's a little odd at the moment. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. But NVIDIA's rocket ships and all right now, that's all that matters, uh, especially with NVIDIA or uh, NASDAQ. 18188. I'll take a look, Damien, after uh, we sign off here today. Yeah, it's right where we are, 5123. And NASDAQ, we're about to take out this 5125 ES liquidity right here. Liquidity. What's up with gold? I don't know. What is it doing right now? Rocket ships. See, that's another weird thing, man. Gold's rocking. Bonds are rocketing. The Russell's rocketing. Like, it's just a lot of weird stuff. Weird stuff. 195. New high of the day for NASDAQ and new high of the day for ES as you just wiped the final liquidity on Bookmap right now. 51.25. Massive move. Nice, John. Well done. Let's see, still straight up. One ninety one. Let's see. The first transaction of 5125. Watch closely. Right there. Apple finally bottom wicked and put on a couple of greens. Apple's eating its greens today. Now, Apple's starting to turn up with NVIDIA. Another liquidity level right there. They did the same thing as yesterday. They put on 5125, transacted it, put it right on back on. Right at 5121. Red. Interesting. This music is too loud. It's driving me nuts. There we go. NVIDIA is still going. Is this all-time highs for ES? Uh, I, bl I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Yep. Is it time for oil prices to go higher again? I don't know. You have to think at some point we run out of buyers here at the top. Well, I mean, yeah, we will. But when and where? Who knows? This is the melt-up of all melt-ups. This is the strongest, most sustainable rally in pretty much history. So, I mean, yeah, um, who knows? Who knows? When you've got AI, AI, AI... When you've got every company tweeting and talking about it, when you've got NVIDIA putting up the numbers they do, 
the option chain euphoria, the liquidity in the market, boom. So yeah, keep selling puts until it stops working. What do you know about L time highs anymore? Yeah, it's crazy. TLT is 94.32. Still going. 18,191. Apple's exponential, 18,195. Looks like a blow off top in SPY setting up. I mean, I suppose. I'm still of the opinion that the uh, financial sector and the banks are going to be the big caveat this this month. Other than the obvious of that that's been going crazy, the banks have been going nuts. Look at NVIDIA, still squeezing. I seem to just say it in the same chop. My general thesis almost always works, but then enter a dumpster fire this week. Hope I'll not let it terribly affect me, but it results in almost a wash week. Well, I think the big win for me this week is the fact that I saw it early. I saw it early that uh, this week was that was just terrible. And I talked to some people in the DMs about it that, you know, this week is is hands off, man. Uh, low position sizing and very few low frequency trading frequency. So that's that's the big win for me. Yeah, I, I had some nice plays this week. I had a couple of top tick shorts early on to, to put me in the green. But other than that, man, I think that's the big win of, of identifying this market, this environment, and just staying out. It's terrible. If you're a scalper, this is a great, I guess you could have had a great week. Uh, if you're a trend trader or a, you know, long-term trader, like a holding for a little bit longer, then uh, it would be a good week for you to, sit, to kind of sit out. I personally hate scalping. NVIDIA is blasting now. Straight squeezing on NVIDIA. What's the flat rate of the reset? Yeah, it depends on what you choose. Yeah. Good gosh, look at this thing. 18205. Now 18200 took over. Nvidia is still rocketing. Let's see, what is that? 210. 510.85, NVIDIA still going, 814.66. <clears throat> Straight up green. 18212. Uh, VIX is starting to climb back up. 1328. Uh, NVIDIA is straight squeezing. 81550, 81530. Microsoft is flat. And YM is going, blasting off. Crazy. Crazy. Let's take a look here on a book map. Large green candle still building. Who knows where it's going to go at this point. It's cleared out everything. They're starting to put on a little bit up here at 250, 260. Um, NVIDIA, there's another top wick after large, or say a top wick, not another one, um, after a large green flow. 
5130 and uh, a little bit down here, but crazy. Going. A little bit of a red there on NVIDIA, small red. Yeah, NVIDIA has the volume too, definitely. Definitely. Fifty-one twenty-six twenty-five. NASDAQ put on a red candle, it was instantly bottom wicked back up to fifteen two one four. Their CVD was uh, still pretty strong. 2,000 green CVD, which is pretty strong on NVIDIA. Pop higher after lunch? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There it is. Another high. So just re completely reverse that red candle to go higher, 18,220. And now we're on a full-on squeeze going even higher on NASDAQ. Boom. 18222. NVIDIA is 81432. Nice trippy mic. 87 close for 847 percent Beautiful. Beautiful. YM is going. TLT is going. SPY is 511. NASDAQ is about to take out this 222, it looks like. I'm just following this up on 3MQ since 1870. Nice. Nice. Yep, today's the day to ride it up, baby. I mean, there's there's no rhyme or reason. It's just buy. Um, every candle is incredibly wicked, but it just goes higher and higher and higher and higher. So this is the day to take some MNQs and just pop in it. And, um, yeah, set a stop. Set a stop. Ridiculous price action. 223 is going even higher here. Who knows where it's going to go at this point? 260, 250, right? Liquidity. Man, they're putting on some here. 235, too. 2300 green CBD on book map, which is incredible. Um, and then, of course, ES has now taken, they've, they've filled the 5125 twice. You remember on 5125, they put on approximately 600 orders. They've transacted it and they put on another 780, transacted it, and now they put on another five or 600 to 5130. So they did finally leg it up on the upside. And going. Eighteen two two two. And this thing's about to absolutely explode. Watch, we're gonna have one of those monster candles. We're gonna have one of those monster candles that just goes. They've tipped this big green candle into this into this like upward ether, and there's no top wick. They're holding it, which means they're absorbing right now. And then eventually it's going to go whoppa, and everyone's going to go whoa, LFG, and whoa, and wow, and all that stuff. Monster Gabagoo, it's, it's crazy. Crazy. NASDAQ's relentless upside. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely what it is. Absolutely what it is. Two, three, one. NVIDIA is still squeezing. 814.57. AVGO is 1373. And uh, they're up 5.6% on AVGO. So AI saves the market, is the market, not saves the market. AI is the market. Man, Trady Ticks called this all freaking week, and I questioned it the entire time. All freaking week it called it, and I questioned it the entire time. It's aggravating because of that stupid price action. <laughs> he pronounced my name weird. <laughs> well done, Trader J. You did have a great week. Well done. We've had bearish midweeks and blow-off Fridays for a few weeks now in a row. Yeah.
No, I mean, you deserve it, dude. You called it. Well done. Well done. Still holding a runner. Nice. 18. They're putting on 18.195. Did anyone say 7,000 till end of year? No, I didn't. Oh, someone might have. Somebody might have. 18.232. Let's see. Bob's not great, but it's not horrible. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Even oil rallying, yeah. We got... got here Nvidia still going up here oh my gosh I can finally tune antenna jeez Louise It's full-on retail FOMO my bodies are taking those talking the stock market again so you know the top is near yeah I 100% agree Trust me, I've got text threads that are that are blowing up this week. That's been blowing up for a couple of weeks. Absolutely. It's 2021 times two. Like, this is even more aggressive than 2021. So as crazy as 2021 was, uh, this, is, this is even more. This makes 2021 look like a bear market. It's nuts. Eight fifteen seventy four. I need to look at Nvidia's daily chart. Nvidia. So Nvidia's prior high is eight two three ninety four. Eight two three ninety four. So keep an eye on that. Red candles eighteen two five. Nice, John. Man, how much money did you make today? You've got you've taken like forty, fifty trades, and they were all like spot on perfect. Like, how much money did you make? It's crazy. Eighteen two one six. Eighteen thousand dollars. Wow, man. Incredible. Incredible. It had to have been, man. Every entry was absolutely perfect. So well done. Well done. Well done. Y'all have a better eye for scalp than I do. 
18217. Hanging out. The top seven in the NASDAQ now accounts for 42% of the entire index. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. 222. Going to see a reversal soon? Oh, yeah. We'll see it. There's another green float coming up. Two two six. Yeah, I'm testing out a little Nasdaq long myself here. Popping in this thing, just train the trend. I'm tired of watching. I'm tired of watching. Two three zero. There we go. Now we're making a move again after a little bit of a red. Going. Going. All right, what are we looking at here? SPX March 1st. IV has dropped off, as it should. I'll probably call the staff to this day. I couldn't tell you're just getting to me. I don't know. I don't know. My um, The great thing about my system is that I keep I play safe. The bad thing about my system is that um, I don't take too many risks. So on this kind of crap right here, um, I don't trade it until the trend is obvious, which didn't only really start to occur until um, about 10.45, 10.50. So I caught a little bit of the uh, the last upside there, but that's about it. So it's underperforming today. Definitely not $18,000. Trading sardines, not eating sardines. Initia, NVIDIA initiates hostile takeover of the entire S&P. <laughs> when Bitcoin is running, you know that's time to sell. Yeah. It seems like this candle close will be the teller. Well, honestly, I'm I'm not even trading off the price action on Nasdaq. I took that long based on the price action on Nvidia, which is silly. I I'm literally I'm I didn't even I took that Nasdaq long looking at Nvidia breaking out and that was it. Uh and it's worked. So I mean, it's silly as as dumb as that is. That I mean, look at Nvidia right now. You can't short anything or take puts with Nvidia doing what it's doing. It's going straight up. So, I'm just going to keep on riding it until I see top books on Nvidia. Yeah, VIX ain't moving. I'm telling you, there's a lot of weird stuff. That's why I said be careful. A lot of weird stuff. So, but at the same time, NVIDIA is going up. I'm done for the day. I got six MNQ all the way up and a couple CL overnight. Nice. Oh, thanks, Art Soul. I try to be consistent. Uh, you know, in order for me to be consistent, though, I have to apply safety where I see it. So, and sometimes it makes me miss moves. But I'll take it any day of the week. Yeah. You know that scene in Tin Cup where uh, Tin Cup says to David, he goes, keep making pars, a-hole, and I'll pass you. And David says, I'll take all, I'll take 18 of them every day of the week. That's me. I'm David in Tin Cup, except I don't hate dogs and I don't hate old people. 
I'll take 18 pars every day of the week. Keeps me from shooting a 12 on the 18th. All right, still going. I'm going to, if we do clear up, which looks like it's likely, I'll set my stop at the prior pivot high, which is 18,235, and see how far this baby can go. Let it stretch its legs for a little bit. Cosner was a WSV version of a golfer in Tin Cup. He was, yeah. It is a great movie. It's one of my favorites. It's a fantastic movie, especially when I used to be in a golf. So, 18.250. Now, if you like golf, it's a fantastic movie. Fantastic. Arguably, arguably better than Caddyshack. NVIDIA is still going. So now I'm going to set my stop at the prior high, which is 18.235. Still going. And look what ES just did. Am I going to have to put on a lotto call now? This is the same exact setup as yesterday. I'm not going to do it yet because there's going to be some profit taking. But dang it. That's a bold claim about Caddyshack. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. I love Caddyshack. It's classic. But I'm just saying, arguably, Tin Cup is better. I don't know what to do this this afternoon. Worked as a production assistant off the books in the, for the scenes of Tin Cup filled in Tubac, Arizona. And I've caddied for all those guys many times. Oh, cool, Shady. That's neat. Happy Gilmore. Great movie. Great movie. Strong call buying into the into the flow here. Apple is the only one that's got. Oh, that's not true. Tesla. Apple and Tesla are the only ones with negative flow. Everything else is strong bullish flow. Google. Oh man. set my alarm for 0400 this morning. I was up at 2. That's an early day. How many MNQs do you usually play? I, I have the 50k accounts, not 25. I usually play anywhere between 1 to 3 most of the time. Yep. A Taiwan presidential guard committed suicide while on duty. While on duty. That's heavy. Jeez. Fifty-one twenty-seven, fifty-one thirty. Nvidia going, still going to new highs. Golly. Si, senor. Does auto liquidate mean I blow up my Apex account? Ah, yeah. It's a great feeling, isn't it? It's a great feeling. <laughs> is Hillary visiting Taiwan? That is perfect. 
hilarious. I'm friends with a lot of U.S. Secret Service and security work at that level is incredibly tough. Secret Service has the highest divorce rate among federal agencies. Yeah. Yeah. I know a guy that's on the service right now. He, had a, he has a lot of interesting, in, interesting things to say. NVIDIA is 818. Bonds coming back off. I suppose that's what I get for trading 20 MNQs. Well, I know it's difficult, dude. I 100% understand. But if you trade anything other than small positions, one or two or three, four MNQs, you're going to blow up your accounts. I could, I could almost guarantee it. Now, if you're going for the one-day pass, yeah, you know, you, you get it. I understand that part. Whatever. I get that. I did it a few times myself this week. Are these guys you know who work for the government as discerned about U.S. corruption as you? Uh, yes. Most most of my coworkers are just like me in terms of our governmental beliefs. Most. Very few I do I know are supportive of government. Do you see a repeat of yesterday, 11.30 sell-off? Um, I will say this. Other than this right here, yes, um, I do. However, um, recently they have now put on 41.45, and now they're putting on 41.85. So other than that liquidity shift, I would look for an end-of-day end rollover. Um, so, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I have no idea what's going to happen this afternoon. I was considering putting on a lotto put um, after about the lunch hour it culminates and we kind of get into the afternoon, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think after I'm going to take my measly uh, measly profits here and take it to the house. Maybe take a little nap because I was up to 0200. I don't know any veterans that are pro big government. Nope, me neither. Price is wrong, Bob. Absolutely, RG. Absolutely. What all do you do getting up that early? Normally, I'm not up that early. I had my alarm set for four four o'clock, uh, but I just happened to get up at two. I just woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep. So, I actually came out and I st I was doing a little studying. I read a little bit about um, about uh, closing imbalances on the liquidity and took some notes to see if I could bet, do a little back testing. Um, responded to a couple of DMs, did a little house cleaning. That was it. And then I went to the gym. What's up, Matty? Lately, it's been tough finding a good setup. Yeah, this whole week has been garbage. So don't don't sweat it. We'll get it. We'll get a banger of a week here coming up. It's kind of wild to think that programming people are outsiders or ruling class insiders. Yep. I mean, there's a prominent social media guy who's got like a million followers who was big uh, elbow deep into special forces There's his whole career and he was high ranking and he retired and became like an off the grid homesteader because he had a strong distrust for the government and the military because of the things that he saw and the stuff that he heard it happens YM's coming off XLF is coming off NVIDIA is coming off NASDAQ is still bottom wicking SPY is 510. NVIDIA is still going up. They're now up 3.6. It's kind of getting old saying it, right? Every candle's higher and higher. 
That's a squeeze right there. Absolute squeeze. Nice, Dan. Well done. Incredible. Oh, man. Now we're just kind of chopping back and forth. I got scared out of that when I should have not just moved since I'd stopped my place. There we go. Next week's a new week, baby. And I believe it's CPI next week. I could be wrong about that. I think it's the week after, actually. Let's see what's on deck for next week. Monday is absolutely nothing. Nothing on the books. Tuesday, you have S&P Services, ISM, a bunch of a, more, a bunch of Fed speeches, more speeches. Wednesday, we have Fed Chair Powell testimony, which shouldn't be that big of a market mover. He's just testimony. He's testifying before Congress. Yes, he's testimonying before Congress. <laughs> uh, Jolt's job openings. A little bit of red. The word Smith now. Tell me about it. FOMC speeches um, Thursday. Fed chair of Tal. That's a two-day event. And then, um, yeah, so that looks like that probably is going to be the highlight of the week, but there's really not too much uh, going on. Yeah, non-farm payroll next week, that'll that'll be a big one. But, yeah, CPI is the day after. So, 51.21. A little bit of red. Oh, man. Is there any one source to learn book map you recommend or just a YouTube search? YouTube search is going to be your best friend. I've got a video on how the basic setups, of course, you can watch the, the, the streams and ask questions. So I'll be happy to direct as well. Um, yeah, just let me know. Just let me know. I can help. Uh, bookmap server itself, the bookmap knowledge base is great. But just let me know. So. YM has a really nice move. When it starts moving, one direction it goes. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, if it wasn't for this right here, I'd you know I'd, I'm I'm on the dump into the afternoon train. Maybe early pump and then dump into the afternoon. I mean, it's only twenty points now. I don't know. Who knows, man? My mind is fried. On an apex evaluation, if you hit the trailing drawdown, the account is done with, right? I need to go in and clean up some old accounts on YOLO before I was able to get eight funded. 
Uh, yes. That's the bad part about Apex is that trailing drawdown. It's pesky. It's pesky. NVIDIA finally taking a little profferoni. A little bit of profferoni here. Maybe. Let's look. CVD is steadily dropping. Steadily dropping. I've already made my daily goal. Y'all have one chop. There you go. You're welcome, Futures. Nice agnostic. Yeah, I'd take it to the house, too. I do holistic uh, health coaching. I'd love to give you some tips to help you sleep if you ever want. Yeah, definitely. Especially working the, the shifts I do, it, it's destroyed my sleep sleep cycle. So. Which, I should, what I, which I've been told should ensure me 100% uh, disability with VA, but when the time comes. Why are you against trading one ES on 50k Apex? My profits average about 50 to 80 every day. Granted, my stops are very tight. I'm not against it. Um, my my thought press around that is is again is with the beginning trader, the beginner who's getting into prop rooms and stuff like that. Because especially that it's one of the reasons why I try to I'm trying to quell down the ego trading in this server because it's starting to get a little much. With you know, look how great I am and look at the entries because. People are going to see that, and they're going to get into trading uh, with the prop firms, and they're going to blow up accounts left and right with the trailing drawdown by trading one or two Nasdaqs. It's very the, the rules are incredibly aggressive. That's the problem. Now, if you're using like top stack, I'm okay with you going a little bit bigger because they don't have a trailing drawdown. That's the it's a closure, which it gives you a lot more wiggle room. That trailing drawdown handcuffs you. That's my thing. Is that you have to stare? You have to step it up little by little on the on the trailing drawdowns. There's a reason why I blew up ten accounts last year on Apex, and I haven't had a single problem with Top Step because the trailing drawdown is predatory and aggressive. It's very difficult. So that's my thing. But if you are a well-versed trader and you know how to get out of positions and you know how to set stops, then by all means, trade one any, which one ES, definitely. What day do I choose when scalping? Whatever I'm doing scalping, it's usually zeros or ones, short data stuff. We got the Gabagoo, which makes me think he's in the server. Interesting. He bet I bet he is in the server. Apex is funny. I decided to YOLO last day of trading one day. I was up two thousand dollars in the tra trailing drawdown stopped me out in five accounts. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, the, yeah. If it wasn't for the multiple the twenty accounts on Apex, I would never even touch Apex. Because of the trailing drawdown is just ridiculous. Uh, however, the 20 accounts is, makes it worth the try. Not to mention they're very cheap, cheap accounts. Um, it makes it worth a try. fluttering like a butterfly right here how do you monitor CVD yeah correct uh, 
came with a volume delta with a V, Victor. I monitor it. It's a widget on Bookmap. I'm, there's two different ways to monitor it. I have the widget, which is just a numerical value, and the subchart, which is just a wavy line that's it's on a graph. That may be the worst song I've ever heard. Change that up. I'm, I'm uh, learning a new... That's all right, Osmond. Yeah, yeah. You got to start somewhere, man. And I love the questions. I want you to keep it up. Keep asking the questions. Eighteen, two, three, one. Back up to the high. Ten forty. What y'all think? What do y'all think? Top wicket, uh, eighteen two two eight. Tons of icebergs on the yes. Five thousand. I only see about seventeen hundred, which is still a lot. You think this sucks? Right now it does, yeah. I'm a new subscriber. Going to check out all your vids. Thanks, 1320 Wolf. I want to start trading options. It's been trading equity for about four years. You like a Sum 41 whistle? Nice. Yeah, I've got some uh, late 90s, early 2000s music on, and this is one of the songs that came up. So if you're going to trade options, it's very, very enticing to jump into options head first and start just going at it because you, you, you want those big gains that options bring, right? My recommendation is to stay far away from short-dated options. Uh, or trade one short dated option and get your one big win that everyone gets, and then immediately go to long dated option. Everybody gets one, uh, but no, I would say no less than two week expiration options and start there. I would even go further than that, but no less than two week. But I would start out in monthlies, and see how it goes. You got a lot of time to when you when you go out that far, uh, you could still make great money if the market moves the way this market moves. So yeah. The first thing you need to understand, uh, 1320 Wolf, is um, the Greeks. That's the biggest thing about the options that's different. And I've got a video on that, how to understand the Greeks. So go to my channel, type in Greeks, boom, it'll pop up. You need to understand what Delta does to the premium, what Gamma does to Delta, uh, what Charm does to Delta, what Vega does to IV, what Theta does to the premium, and how everything interconnects. All that stuff. And when you understand that, you can kind of get a better idea of how and why and what options move and stuff. Inflation relief. Yeah. Everybody gets one. Or nuts. Yeah, it's level two uh, spreads. Yeah, definitely. The climate over here, what? Man, 
5165 end of day. Interesting. I need to hit up Callie before my wife's pops and goes to see have some egg rolls. We should all do it. Let's go visit Mr. Fifty. Let him take us on a tour of uh Cali food spots. Uh, your instructional videos are easy to understand and extremely helpful. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, I try to I try to turn it down to as basic as possible. I try to turn it way down. I'm not I'm not that smart, so I have to I have to teach you all the way that I teach myself. Written in crayon, baby. I'm in Northern California. Nice. Never been to Northern California. The only time I've been to California, I went to uh, Fresno and then went to Yosemite. Flew into Fresno and then Yosemite. NASDAQ is still holding 1832, 832. Apple's still low of the day. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it about another 10 minutes or so, and I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to call it a day. What we got? It's supposed to be 75 degrees this weekend. I'm stoked. Got a whole bunch of wood to chop. Let me get stopped at 18 for the bottom at 17. Yeah. After many years in SD, it's what I miss most. I need a good burrito. Mom said to bring, my wife said to bring cannolis. NASDAQ testing the highs again. Learned a lot of insights starting to listen to some of your brief videos. Thanks, D-Stoic. Keep it up, buddy. Let me know if you have any questions. Welcome back. Welcome back. Apologize I wasn't more help today. I've been pretty much useless today. Aside from some uh, ramblings. But, yeah, today is uh, it's erratic. 51.30. I'm mixed and matching my accounts today, man. I've got a couple of them red, a couple of them green today. So overall, right about ready to go and take it outside. On the ES 15-minute inverse hammers point to a pause in the uptrend or potential reversal or BPA question. Let's take a look. Reversal. Um, well, right now it's still going. The 15 minutes up and up and up and up. Uh, bottom wicking. Now we have a couple of top wicks coming to the 15 minute, but that that red candle dump took care of the the momentum from the seller side. The bottom wicked. Now we have this red one. So a green one. The 15 minute still looks like we're going to transact a little higher here. It's still going up and up and up. 51.30 now is liquid on ES. This is one of those days where you don't want to sell until we either you want to put on a lot of put or if you want to put on any real position size, you have to wait for the top wicks to come. Right now, it's just, you know, it's stepping up. It's it's a flow. Look at NVIDIA right now is a pure a pure squeeze. And I know it's very tempting to short this. But this is one of those days where NVIDIA can just keep on going. So just keep an eye on it.
Uh, they're doing well. Like I said, I've got two funded accounts, which are doing very well. They're up. Uh, the funds are up. One of them, I've got a 50k and a, and a 100k funded. Uh, one of them is up like 1,200 bucks, and the other one's up over 2,000. Uh, the evals, I've blown up two this week. The two YOLOs I've blown up this week, and the other ones are doing fine. Um, I'm going to make a couple hundred dollars a day. Today, I'm mixed red and green on some of them. Yesterday, I only traded half the accounts. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll make it in the 10 days. I think what's what's the next... Uh, well, it's one-day pass, but I'm not going for the one-day pass, obviously. So, um, I assume I'm going to go back. Um, once the one-day passes, I'll have, what, 10 days? Is it eight days, seven days, or something like that to pass them? I don't know if I'll get there in the seven days. It might take me another week or so because I'm going uh, this week, like, was not very aggressive. I do copy trade all of them. Yesterday, I did not. Yesterday, I only, I only traded half of them because it was terrible. That's the great thing about Quan Chower, by the way, is that you can run multiple bots. You can you can program like three or four or however many bots you want for different accounts. You can turn one bot off, turn another one on, and trade certain accounts. And that's what I did. I've got me. I've now have four different bots uh, right now. I've got a bot that runs all 20 accounts or all 18 accounts because two of them are funded. All 18 accounts. I've got one bot that runs half of the of the only half of the fund or the uh, the evals. I've got another bot that runs the other half of the evals, and I've got a bot that runs just the funded. So I've got four different bots running on a Quant Tower, which I recommend if you've got a Quant Tower, do something like that. Have you seen the movie Rounders? I have, yeah. In my opinion, I I, I like to I relate a lot to Knish. Grind it out, baby. I'm not I'm not sitting down I'm not sitting down with Teddy KGB slinging three stacks. Two star, three stacks of high society. Fifty-one twenty-eight. Pay that man his money. I learned a lot of patience today, which I need to improve on. This was a great lesson. There you go. Can you trade MES on one account, and do you have the bot to do ES on another? Um, yes, you can. Yes, you can. What do you think about buying calls instead of owning the stock? It depends. That's a different strategy. In terms of owning the stock, like... Nothing beats the 30-year returns of owning stock. Nothing. Not even options. Unless you're one of these guys that catches a, you know, 48,000% call or something like that. Of course, you'll pay for 30 years of returns right there. So I'm a big fan. Um, I guess the best answer is going to be do both. Own the stock and then do your short-term trading on it. Because when you own the stock, not only can you go out and buy calls, but you can also write calls against it in the form of covered calls which is a great strategy to do. I want to buy 18,200 NDX puts. Man, I gave puts my best shot, and... Um, Although it was a fantastic take and a fantastic entry. They were up over 100% at one point. Um, obviously, it doesn't look like they're going to be profitable once again. So I'm going to write premium against those, whatever's left. But, um, man, watch the second I close them out, they're going to go. Um, for me, it's all about NVIDIA. It's all about NVIDIA. If NVIDIA starts to sell, we'll finally get some sell pressure. And then, of course, the banks are going to come to the picture in March as well. March, this is going to be a very interesting month. It's going to be very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll post everything in the Trades channel. Everything in the Trades channel. So, is there, has your son been paper trading? He has been, yeah. In fact, I got him, uh, for Christmas, I got him some um, Apex accounts. He, of course, blew them up. He has to learn. But uh, he's he's doing a lot better. Like he's learning, and that's the great a great exposure of kind of like trading with money that's not real money. 
that still you know still gets you emotionally attached. So uh, he's enjoying it, and you know he's learning slowly. He's learning about support and resistance and position sizing and controlling himself. It's good stuff. Why not just roll your put at a later date and write premium against it? That's probably, I mean, that's that's what I'm going to be doing, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. I must be doing a lot of talking this week because my voice is smoked. Just got Quan Tower a month ago. Nice, yeah, Quan Tower is pretty good. I like it. Writing premium means selling calls or puts. How do you write premium? Do you have a video on it? I do have a video on, I got a couple of videos on writing debit spreads and credit spreads. I think I have four videos on writing premium. Red bubble, a red liquidity right here, 5130. 244. NASDAQ is bottom looking again. 245 on the five minute chart. All right, a couple more minutes here. I'm gonna call it a day at the top of the hour. Any final questions or comments, concerns, thoughts? What y'all got? Any videos on practicing the Peter Griffin voice? <laughs> Watch lots of Family Guy. There you go. That's the only thing I can recommend. You have to have a good understanding of the Northern dialect in order to do the Peter Griffin voice, which me, I have, because my family's all from New York. I've got that strong Long Island accent. How's your mother? Forget about it, hey, how you doing? How to manage and improve bias. Um, you got a chart. So, you know, I'll go ahead and tell you, man, if you, if your version of trading is sitting at your computer, opening up your broker and your charts and start trading, then you're, you're probably going to have a lot of time, hard time fighting bias and all that stuff. Fighting bias, fighting um, all the gabagoo that the market's going to throw at you. Nice little red here. Um, so the first thing you need to do to improve your bias and how to trade like in spite of your bias is you've got to be able to chart. You've got to be able to get in the charts before the market opens or before you begin trading, whenever it is. If you come online when the market's open, then you need to start charting and doing some research before you actually start trading. It's a good way to get destroyed because you can, you can have a bias and still trade counter bias, but that's usually a seasoned trader type of move. Because you got to be able to put your emotions on 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 pause and, and trade what you see, and it's not always perfect. You know, I, sometimes I trade my bias when I'm wrong. But the biggest thing I could teach you in terms of managing your bias is to just simply get in your tools and tra and and research what's going on. Do I recommend top step over apex? It depends what you're looking for. If you want to do just like one or two accounts and nice and easy, absolutely 100% I would recommend Top Step over Apex. If you want to trade leverage 20 accounts, then trade Apex. Then go with Apex. If you're only doing one or two accounts, then I would go with Top Step. Yeah, it, all, it de definitely depends on your trading style. I'm a very conservative trader. 
So I trade slow and steady. Um, so it's, yeah, ain't no big deal. My two sons were born at Long Island in Franklin Hospital. Nice. And my mom was in Long Island. Uh, I was born in Queens. Actually, I wasn't born in Queens. I lived in Queens. I was born in Lenox Hill Hospital in, in Manhattan. I believe it's called Lenox Hill, if I remember right. Nice red. Look at that. Nice little move there. Eighteen two two six. My in-laws are from Long Island, real loud, and they come around. Oh yeah, they're all loud. <laughs> Goulashes, cement shoes. Yeah. Haven't been in Queens in many, many years though. We lived on one second sec one sixty second street, which was which is now uh, a big factory. It's a big factory in Queens. All right, y'all, that's top of the hour. Yeah, my mom actually went to high school with uh, Lorraine Bracco. I have, in, in my mom's, um, in her yearbook, there's a picture of Lorraine Bracco and some stuff that she had written. It's pretty cool. Chick from uh, Goodfellow, or Sopranos. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I've been pretty worthless today, so I apologize. I just haven't read uh, a lot of this chop back and forth. So... <clears throat> Hope you all uh, have a good rest of the day. Don't get chopped up. I'll step back in a little bit this afternoon to see what the afternoon is going to bring because I am very curious to where they're going to do with this into power hour. So other than that, I will see you all bright and early Monday morning for everybody else. Tier 2, we do have our Zoom call this weekend. So, yeah. Um, be ready for that. I'll post the Zoom link when it's active. Hope you have a good rest of the day. I'm out. See ya.